Morning guys, we're just about to head out to jump on the Inter-Islander Ferry to head to Wellington. So let's pack up the car and hit the road. We made it to Picton with about 20 minutes to spare. Got all checked in, got the tickets. And it's looking beautiful out. I think we're gonna be able to see quite a bit. So we're gonna grab the bags and head into the waiting area. They have free coffee. I thought it was a parking machine, but it was a coffee machine. <laughs> I was like, that's even better. Nice. Get all our stuff, head to the hotel, check in, drop off our bags, and then go right over to Sky Stadium. Here we go. We've made it down to the hotel. We were able to take the free shuttle bus from the Inter-Islander Ferry. Once we got off, we jumped on that and then headed right over to the railway station, which was like a 10 minute walk to the hotel. So we're staying right in Lambden Key in the city center. And we're about to walk over to Sky Stadium to go and check out some women's rugby. So super excited. Let's get out and do some exploring. I got a little Anzac cookie at the cookie shop. It's really, really good. It's like coconutty, so soft. And it was only $3.90. Not a bad deal. Drinkies. 
Hey guys, welcome to the next day. It is Sunday. Last night was so much fun. It was amazing to see women's rugby live. The crowd was actually really into it when the Black Ferns were playing, so that was amazing. Today we're gonna go and check out some more breweries around Wellington, ones that we have not had time to go into yet. So super excited for that. We're gonna be meeting up with some friends, I think, in a little bit too. I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging a whole lot while we're out and about, but you will see the breweries and the beers and a few shots of us just wandering around downtown. In case you're curious, the hotel we're staying at on this trip is the Quest on Lambden. It's more in the CBD area, like the business district, so it's not as bumpin' as the last area we stayed in when we were here. But the price was good. I think it was around 150 per night, like Canadian. I'll put the actual amount up on screen here so you know. Love Wellington. It is cloudy and rainy, which is typical but still love this place, so let's go out and explore for the day. So just in case I don't get to vlog much while we're out and about, we're hitting up Mean Doses, Garage Project, Heyday Beer, and Waitoa. Morning guys, welcome to Monday. We decided to go up the cable car this morning to check out the botanic gardens and just walk around. It's an absolutely stellar, beautiful day. Sunny, not too windy, a light breeze. Mwah. Just amazing. Last night we had so much fun going out and checking out a few different breweries in the area and hanging out with some friends. Oh, it's just so beautiful up here. There's so many viewpoints to take a rest and take in the beautiful views of Wellington the surrounding mountains and now we're going to walk down through the botanic gardens and up to the waterfront maybe grab a pie and a bite to eat along the way Now we're on the hunt for some pies, some food, walking down towards the water. Let's see what we can get. We've made it over to the Beehive, which I think is their New Zealand's main political office in the capital city of Wellington. Quite a beautiful building. Definitely a unique structure.
Well, Google Maps fails again. Don't trust Google Maps in New Zealand because it'll tell you something's open when it isn't. Like right now, we're trying to find a bakery that's open, but they're all closed. Let's go get some pies in Te Papa because we can't find it anywhere else. Just had such an amazing lunch here at Te Papa and we've gone back up to the sixth floor again to check out the viewpoint because it's beautiful out there. Did a quick little stop and now we're going to head over to some shops and walk around a bit before heading to the fair. Super sunny out. Can't wait to see the sunset. Made it back to Picton, so we're gonna go hop in the car and head home to Nelson. This was an amazing experience. I highly recommend doing the ferry across to Wellington if you can. Well worth the drive. And thank you so much for joining us for another adventure, and we'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye. Bye.